Okay, so what would I change about red attacks? Let's go. Um, if you want to hear a full description of all my reasoning and all the changes I made, I have a full video where I explain just that. <laughs> okay, but this video is specifically about what I would change about red attacks in this game. So, um, an obvious change that I would make, and I feel like a lot of people are, agree with me here, is that red attacks should all be sidesteppable. Like, for some reason, and I, I feel like that's what the developers were going for, because most sidesteps, um, red attacks are sidesteppable, because that's the point of them, you know, it's the mix-up. If you decide to do them, and if they block it, they get hit by it, but if they react to you doing it, there should be a way to avoid it, which is doing a sidestep, and that applies to most characters. But for some reason, for certain characters like Mirio, who have a ridiculous red attack, that unless the opponent has perfect timing on their red attack, on their um, sidestep, they just get hit by it because it's just so good. So see, I do it, the opponent sidesteps, so the wrecked. So like, if they do it on reaction, they basically get hit by it unless they time it perfectly. So ready, red attack, sidestep, hit by it. Red attack, sidestep, oh. Red attack, sidestep, hit by it. And there's only very specific timing if you do it right as it's about to hit you, but like also not too late, that you can only avoid this. And this is dumb, and it happens for a few characters. There are a few characters, um, oh god, I can't quite remember off my head, but I know Gran Torino and Mirio are a few examples of characters that have red attacks that are not only great because they reach far and are fast, they also, like, don't get sidestepped, which is really dumb to me and I feel like just doesn't make sense. I don't know why they allowed this in the game. I'd much rather they nerf um, Mirio's uh, sidestep than, like, his damage and other things they do. Not that I'm complaining about that, but I feel like these are just such dumb tools. Like, why would you live, leave a character with this? They're so... Like, it ruins the fundamentals of the game, like... <laughs> yeah. Because the point is that, like, it's an unblockable attack, you can sidestep them. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what their reasoning was there with these. Um, but I'm not just making side, um, red attacks worse, I'd also make them better, in that you can actually... I would make it so you can cancel them off of your regular attack string. So this is Miria's regular attack string, just use XXXX, or... 1111, whatever you're playing on. Um, but you can actually cancel it into a red attack, and not just by like doing a dash cancel and then going into a red attack like this. I can just like press XX and into a red attack, and then it would cancel into a red attack. Just how like I can cancel into this one, but obviously it's very slow. But instead of canceling into a special move off of regular attacks, I would make it so you can cancel into red attacks. And that would just make it, it wouldn't make like ridiculous. Um, additional pressure, it'd just make it so the opponent has to be a little bit more on their toes when you're pressing buttons. So if they're just sitting there blocking whatever you do, because they know that you're like, maybe you can go for something unsafe, maybe you're a player that likes to always keep going for, I don't know, yellow moves, um, which is something that I'm also changing if you want to watch that video. But if you, you think the opponent's going to go for something unsafe and you're just standing there blocking, if you could do red attacks and you think the opponent's just going to be standing there blocking, cancel into a red attack, and then you get a combo for it. And I feel like that's fair, because most red attacks, like even Mirio's, which is a faster one, in a block string they're quite reactable, so you can sidestep them. But it just adds a little bit of like extra mix-up off of a regular attack string. So I feel like that would be a fair and decent change to red attacks. Um, so yeah, you can't sidestep them, but you can also cancel them from regular buttons. And, uh, yeah, okay. And the last change um, actually regards to, kind of pertains to a different change that I'll be talking about in a different video if you want to watch that. But it has to do with um, knockdowns in this game. So there are two types of knockdown in this game. So you can either have a knockdown, so see I'm controlling both characters now, and if I'm Mirio I can recover and you know, it does, where it's, does that blue flash. Like, and most attacks lead to have our recovery knockdowns, where the opponent can just, like, either, like, move this, move the stick, or press the jump button, and they recover, they get a blue flash, brief invincibility, and they can press buttons, and they're moving, and they're quick. But there's also a knockdown that, um, called a hard knockdown, which is, Ida actually has off of his first two hits, and I'm controlling Mirio here, and I actually can't, there's no way to recover from this. You just have to take the knockdown, get up slowly, and see those white frames there, um, like where Mirio turns white for a bit? Those are invincibility frames, and they are something that are common in a lot of fighting games, 
And it's basically just when you wake up, you have invincibility frames so that you're not getting completely like destroyed on wake up. You know, you don't have you know the disadvantage for waking up. So you have they have brief invincibility frames. So that means a lot of the time when you try to time your Oki, a lot of your buttons Oki okay, just means like attacks on wake up. So if you want to keep your pressure on, you know, Ida is a nice rushdown character. You don't want to be running away. If I try and attack Mirio on wake up, a lot of my buttons are actually gonna miss because he decided to um, do a delayed wake up. So I have to really delay my buttons in order to um, hit him on wake up. And that actually means that like a lot of the time, if you try to time your Oki, okay, characters can actually punish you for <laughs> for trying to like put pressure on them on wake up. And so what I would change about red attacks in relation to um, invincibility is that they just go through it. So see there when um, Mirio is clearly standing up and off the ground, but he has invincibility frames, and where buttons should clearly hit, I think red attacks should go through the armor and hit them. So if the opponent is just trying to be like a mashing aggressor and they just press buttons on wake up every time after a hard knockdown, your red attack will hit them and go through um, their invincibility. And I feel like that's a fair change, and it's not like red attacks are overpowered on wake up now because the opponent can like if you walk up to them and like stand there on wake up they can read that and then do a sidestep and then you know your red attack's gonna miss and they'll punish you and that also leads into like you know if they decide to do a sidestep you can do a read and go for a yellow attack which i would make have complete tracking as i talk about in a different video but yeah i feel like having that um would really not only would it change um, making red attacks a bit more useful, but it also really changed the um, the wake up game in this game, because it'd give people a reason, because um, there'd be more mix up. And one thing I don't really understand is why do people always recover? Like recovering isn't that great. Like it just puts you in the air and then you're just like up again. When you can like, especially like if Mirio does this knockdown here, you can recover from it, or you can just take invincibility frames where you're completely invincible for like almost a whole second and press buttons. So I feel like people would use that more, but there's also more pressure because if the opponent decides to use those invincibility frames and I think they're going to try and mash buttons on wake up, I do my red attack, it goes straight through them, and now I'm getting to hit them again. So yeah, that's all I would change about red attacks. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.